What up, peeps and peepettes? Warbtron here, and today is January 1st, 2019, so Happy New Year to one and all. I hope you all had a fantastic yesterday and have a better year starting today. Sorry this reset video is late. If you watched my stream last night, you would know why. Had a fun. Had a good time. Anyway, um, today is a Tuesday yes. and a reset day, so we're going to check to see what we can get from everywhere this week. From 801, we have a sniper, so we can get the Tatara. Uh, we have pulse rifle and machine gun. So, you want a good blast furnace roll? Now's your chance to farm for it again. You want a good sniper rifle? Maybe get that kill clip Tatara so you can body shot people like a pro. There we go. Good time to farm. Also, I mean, if you need a good machine gun, I guess you can farm for one of those as well. I'll definitely be looking for. Different roles, interesting roles on the Bulls Rifle and Sniper Rifles as well. And of course we have just the regular Black Armory mods and making mod components, that sort of thing from A to 1. It's good times! We have a week to wait for anything new to happen in Destiny 2 though. This week is kind of a lull week, there's nothing much going on. Um, the Iron Banner is done, the Dawning is done, uh, we have a week until Naomi Labs is here. And Naomi Labs will more than likely unlock the fourth forge. Um, and who knows what we'll be able to get from there. I'm really, really hoping for the exotic fusion rifle. Hearing a lot of chatter about your really, plan. really want it. Um, let's see here. Hawthorne bounties this week. We have Crucible matches with clanmates, Lost Sectors with clanmates, and Blindwell tier 3 or higher. And we have the to each their own powerful for um, the new raid, Secrets of the Past. And we have Witch Hunt for Last Wish. Neat. Neat. Careful out there. Now, before we go into the regular part of the tower and see what Tess has for us this week, like I said, there's, there's not much going on. It's going to be a very quick reset video this week. Let's see what we have going on in the solar system. It looks like the Flashpoint is on IO. That's pretty neat. This week, the Crucible playlist is locked down. Pretty neat. I don't play Lockdown, so I'll be sticking a quick play this week. And let's see here. In the Nightfall playlist, we have Warden of Nothing, A Garden World, and Arms Dealer. Cool. So Arms Dealer gets you a Sparrow. A Garden World gets you a ship. And Warden of Nothing nets you a hand cannon that is pretty awful. I'll show you that hand cannon in the collections tab right now, so you can kind of take a look at it. Let's see here. Hand cannons. Oh, just passed it. Warden's Law right here. So the curated role for it is Ricochet Rounds, Rampage, and Zen Moment. Not a bad role for a hand cannon in general, but the thing that's kind of iffy about this gun, it shoots two bullets at once, and you might say, that sounds fantastic, Morbtron. Why is that garbage? Well, because there's bloom with those two bullets, meaning they can spread apart. So you might get a full headshot and one bullet, and the next one you fire, half of your damage might not be precision. It'll still show as a headshot, but the number will be a lot less than it should. That's why I don't like the weapon. It's very inconsistent, and you have to leave your shots up to a little bit of RNG which I don't like. Anyway, from Tess Everest this week, what can I do for you, Guardian? we have... Eh, 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 it's an off week, like I said. We have Nothing Is Wrong emote. It's a good meme. If you don't have the emote yet, definitely pick it up. Uh, we have the U emote, which originally when I saw this, I thought it was, uh, you know, I'm coming for you and you're pointing at them, but it's actually you thanking somebody, which... Um, this is weird without pointing. I've never aggressively pointed at someone and been like, you know what? Thank you. Thank you, person. But, yeah. Anyway, uh, we have the Season 5 Eververse Boots. If you are looking to complete your set, this roll is pretty poop, though. It has Dynamo, which is good. Rifle Dexterity, which is meh. Bow Scavenger, which literally no one uses. Who runs out of ammo for a bow? And Primary Ammo Finder, which... Why? So, 
Unless you're looking to complete your set, don't bother. Um, and then we have the Cuddly Throwback for the Two-Tailed Fox. It's got some Jade Rabbit ornaments on it. I like it. I like I like this. This is nice. And then we have the Book of the Dead Weapon Ornament for the Vigilance Wing. So there is that. In the Prismatic Matrix this week, we have the... Uh, oh, I'm going to slaughter the name. Uh, Odrerer? Odrerer? Odrerer. We'll go with that. Um, ship, which is a, it's a, it's pretty neat. It's got a cool little wing on the back. It's got a long stick. Might be a gun. It's, it's a stick. It has a stick out the front and a cool little wing in the back, you know, for that downforce when you're cruising along. And we have the Callus' Promise Weapon Ornament for the Skyburner's Oath. Now, this weapon ornament, I actually think, looks really, really cool. Um, it's too bad that Skyburner's Oath is garbage tier for exotics and just weapons in general because this looks cool. I like this. This is nice. And we have the Eyes of Mercury. I can't preview it because I'm not on a Warlock. Ornament for the Sunbracers. If you want to look a little bit more like Osiris, so there you go, you can. Also, if you're a hunter looking to complete your uh, Season 5 Eververse set, you can get your chest piece with a pretty decent roll on it. It's got Unflinching Sniper Aim, Special Ammo Finder, and Unflinching Power Aim. And its uh, perk stats are actually pretty nicely rolled as well. One mobility, two resilience, one recovery. Pretty decent, I like. And then we have the Season 5 Gauntlets for the Titan. Also a pretty decent roll. Special Ammo Finder, Sniper Scavenger, Momentum Transfer, and Impact Induction. Again, pretty decent loadout here for stats for a Titan. Two resilience, one recovery. Very bueno. And then, of course, we have the Ska Dance, but I think you're able to pick this thing up week one from test, just buying it flat out. I know I did. I know at least I got it week one. I'm pretty sure you were able to buy it. And everything else is just kind of meh. We have a random ghost, random little ship, and then we have ghost projections, which I don't really care about ghost projections. Don't forget to pick up your Rise to the Challenge the bounty, though, if you're looking to get a Prismatic Matrix item. It's only one that I don't have. So there... <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me. I, I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, that is that. And there's nothing really else to talk about in the world of Destiny 2. Like I said, next week we have Naomi Labs and the fourth Forge unlocking. 99% sure. And who knows what we'll see from that, but grind your pulse rifles, grind your snipers, get good rolls, and have a happy 2019. If you like this video or you want to help support my channel, a positive rating is greatly appreciated. If you are new, you want to see more of my content, tickle that subscribe button. But do not forget to have a good day, everybody, and have a happy new year. And I will catch you all next time.